call this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on this uh, 24th day of May, 2022 at 5 p.m. I'm gonna ask Sam Small to lead us in a prayer and place the flag. Thank you. Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight, Lord. We just ask that you'd watch over this meeting, Lord, and guide us in our decisions we make and have it to be pleasing unto you, Lord Jesus. We just ask that you bless our attendance and those who are sick and hurting, Lord. We just ask that you undergird and strengthen them. Lord Jesus, just be with us. Watch over and take care of us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, before you, you have the minutes of the May 10th meeting. A motion? A motion. Motion to Sam Small. Second by Larry Cam. Uh, is there any discussion, corrections, or additions? Is there any discussion, corrections, or additions on the many? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. The minutes are approved. Before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers. So, motion to Larry Camp. Second. Second to Sam Small. Uh, any discussion? Any discussion on bills and claims? No, we're good. We, we, did, have, we did have a late list, right? Yes. Yes. Including late list. So, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Uh, now, uh, we're going to uh, have a couple presentations. Uh, Bo and Tori are here from the park to give us a report on the ARPA program that they got, as well as talk to us about something else. Tori, would you stand up with him? She's the shy one. You got a better looking bow. We ready? <laughs> so you have those, Miranda? I do, but uh, since we have a new computer, it's no longer compatible with this old ancient thing, and that's I didn't really fine. like that. I, I got a list, anyways. I just wanted to show some pictures. But that's okay. all good. Um, I have it over here. They can see it. Oh, okay. Can see it. okay. What, what did you say? So some of the things that we've done, some of the things that we've done since she's been here, and this is ongoing stuff that's been taking place, is some of the beagle trials is still going on. Um, the horse shows is coming back, livestock shows, tractor pulls, the cowboy games is something new that we've established. Um, of course, the boys and girl scouts, the dances, day-to-day -day building rentals, soccer games, that's a big thing out there again, softball tournaments, cheerleading, uh, they've came out and they're actually practicing in our buildings now. So she's been coordinating with a lot of people. Airsoft, that's a pretty, pretty cool little atmosphere. I do that. It's, uh, we have airsoft. Airsoft, it's like paintball, but no, uh, yeah, but it's no just, paint. You get to shoot each other, pretty awesome. And also is our uh, kayak rentals. That's taking place uh, from donations from the Kentucky Sportsmanship. Uh, craft shows, we've had a lot of them. Uh, of course, we've had flea markets, the car shows, and we're gonna do a back to school bash again. And then, of course, we've done the Halloween bash with the car show, tr trunk or treat, and that was a big hit, so we're gonna try to do that again. Some of the things that she's come up with is having a, a kid's day camp, scavenger hunt. She's coordinated with the library, the hospitals to get more people involved to have some camps out there for the kids. Uh, and she wants uh, the 5K color run this year where it's just powder and you just throw it out and everybody has fun with it. So I've participated in them as well. And a cornhole tournament. Um, and the last one, and seen that one is the uh, trucks and treasures. What that is is basically it's big trucks, equipment, large equipment, whatever they got to showcase for the kids to come out and look at, and such like that. So she's been really working hard at what she's been doing, um, and doing a lot of networking with other people. So we look forward to having her here on out. So 
You got anything to say? Any questions for him? Thanks for the presentation. Uh, Y'all do a great job of getting it. And our activities has really picked up, and that's what we wanted Tori to bring on board. Uh, and a lot of things we already had, but she's bringing on board. And if there's any other new ideas that anybody from the public or the court that sees an interest in, just holler at us and we'll look uh, at everything. An idea and a willingness to help. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So, and the last thing is. The last thing is, is uh, utilities has gotten a little higher than expected, <coughs> and uh, we are in the red at this time, and I'm asking for 15, 13000 13, for the remainder of the budget a year to get us out of the red. What's put you in the red for? Uh, the light bill's going up. <laughs> Where would it come from, man? With um, But with the help of the soccer lights being LED now, I mean, that's something that we need to get more participation on, uh, purchase of LED lighting. Uh, and, and another thing is, is our camp, campers are pulling more with the ACs being on now, and just, they're pulling a lot. Well, I understand utilities is going up, but I also understand, Bo, that we have a budget that we have to live within. Well, I understand, but if I'm not mistaken, I think maybe two years ago, we got cut in our utilities. Is that, is that my wrong saying, by saying that? that? It, I gave you that sheet. This year was the same as last year, and the year before was. Do you remember what it was? I, I don't. I remember I think that it was we just ten thousand dollars. We just did. Yeah. Because at that time it was able to conserve. So that's water. that's why I'm well, asking. Well, the utilities. This is something we will face from now. You know, for the next foreseeable future. Because there were several on the transfer list of utilities, they're just they're going up. The utilities have his yes. is bigger because he has more. But this is the end of the budget. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, this, right. is, uh, this is not the first of the budget. And we, so on the new budget, do we do, do we look at that or we just get oh, the utilities? Nothing the same? has changed. So if you remember, we discussed that. The surplus money we have, we're going to have to put back a large amount just for utilities right. to be yeah. able to pull from. Another thing, too, we're looking at putting the conservation program in place, and not only at the uh, park, but everything we've got, some conservation of utilities. We're looking at some things in this building. We put in some different type of uh, air conditioning units that are supposed to be more efficient. And uh, we're doing some things here in this building. And uh, I haven't put one in place at the senior building yet, but we will. So we're looking at trying to uh, improve utilities as we work. Now you mentioned the, the campers pulling so much. Are we going to have to look at raising the campsites a little bit? Yeah, we're, me and hers discussed that anyways because of the tax. And what do you do with the uh, camper money? Where does it go? It goes back to the, in the general fund. In the general general fund. fund. They're also going to start January one on the golf side of too. charging rent on things like that. Sales tax. Yes, sales, sales, tax. Sales, sales tax. Sales tax on, on the rentals. Yeah, the state is looking at slowly doing away with income tax, mm -hmm. and in order to make up that revenue, they are adding on what is taxed with sales tax, so it'll be a, a consumer-based tax instead of a state. I guess much like Tennessee or. Yeah. Is that somewhat in the works? I haven't kept up it with is. those folks. Yeah. They added, uh, I have uh, two pages of stuff they've added of things to be taxed. They yeah. got taxed on here a couple of years, two or three years ago. Like what they did this year. Like they taxed tattoos. Um, yeah. Uh, just all kinds of things. That's Where really we rent out, out the yeah. multi purpose room, he rents out the buildings. Your park campers that'll be taxed now. Uh, well, I, I would agree with uh, what Mr. Barnes said. If you know, if your if the utilities is going up, then I think uh, Bo, we, you need to follow through as well, and the necessary uh, increases need to be made made at the park. As they're going to, I mean, it's yeah. it's just a day and time that you're going to have to do it. Yeah, it's, it's nothing it's, nobody uh, wants to hear or do, but it's it's reality. You're going to have to do certainly. it. Certainly. We have to, and then doing more too will help. Thanks.
presentation. And uh, we actually, so we can talk about that more, we actually got it through the, this time with the, on your transfers you've already passed. <coughs> so we don't want to talk about that? No. It, take the it already did. It, as he said, it was in the red. <laughs> that was smooth, Judge. I would agree. <laughs> well, I knew on this time, but I didn't know what you had to do. No, I think I was going to go look at some conservation. Uh, Jody Flinger has something, too. And she's talked about all of you. Who was it you haven't talked to? And you can talk to them now. I got everybody. You've got everybody? Yep. Okay. First thing I want you to look at is the really good news. If you haven't come from Owensboro on I-65, you may not have seen it, but we have a new billboard up there. We saw it. You saw it? Yeah. We saw it. We saw it. We saw it. Yay. Yeah. I don't get out much, do we? <laughs> okay. Well, and that was actually created. I know you've heard that federal money went to the states and part was allocated for tourism. Ohio County got some of that money through tourism, and uh, that was, it was earmarked, it had to go for marketing. So this is one of the things I did with it, is put that billboard up. And we're doing a little survey now with it to see how many people are being pulled in for the billboard. I've only rented it for six months during the height of the tour season, taking us right past the festival, and we'll go on from there. So that's the good news, and there's more good news. I believe the whole presentation is good because it's actually speaking about how tourism has picked up. And because of the pickup, I'm getting stretched pretty much in lots of different directions. Since May of 2021, I've had a receptionist from the Audubon program. I do not pay her anything. She makes $7.25 an hour, and um, she's been great. She, her name is Connie Gaskell. She um, is an, she's an older lady, and in her history... Lady, she's younger than I am, so don't use that old. Okay. You offend Dean and I. <laughs> she's younger than I am, too. <laughs> Connie was a really young lady, and um, <laughs> she, uh, she has in her past, in her history, her resume has managing a store, a dollar store, so she's really been good for me. She's very personable, and long story short, she really works great out there. So my presentation today is to ask for funds to keep her on. What happened is she lost her husband in February, and she um, did, she's found a few surprises since his passing, and she does need more money or needs another job where she can make all her bills. So um, I checked with Audubon. If she left me, if there was someone else that could fill her position, they do not have anybody. It took two years to get Connie. I had one before her, which really didn't work out. I have looked through all other programs. Grad has been searching for me. I looked for one of those 50-50 matches. Didn't happen. So I've come to the court to ask for um, a proposal to keep Connie on board with me. If you look at your sheet, this is a proposal for the next fiscal court year, or fiscal year. It would be $12 an hour for 20 hours, which would mean $2.40 a week, I pay bi-weekly. Of course, the employer is responsible for FICA and MCARE, which makes her checks 517. For the 26 checks of the year, she would be making 13,442. That next little bracket is that amount. Tourism can absorb 1,500 of that. We actually had a really good year. Um, we came in 5,000 above my tourism budget. So we, we were able to do more things. And then that next one, you'll see the little subtitle next to it says magistrates. And that's why I'm coming before you now, because after I subtract the tourism amount, I have a amount that I still owe. I'm asking now if we divided that by six, and you all maybe help pitch in a little bit, we could cover her for this year. The next little bracket says 2023 to 2024. This is not next year. This is the year after, okay? And at that time, tourism is projecting that they can put in 6,000 
and the museum is also picking things up, they are willing to pledge 1,400. 1, now, in those parentheses, it does say, I'm not, you know, I'm, I've spoken with some of you, I'm not going to fully commit, but I do believe we will be able to, because I'm still going to look for other programs to put people in. And she's very willing to go into another program if she gets the money that she uh, needs. Corps would be a good one to look at. I checked that. It was only if you worked at a senior center. So, and Brad researched all the AmeriCorps and couldn't in, find me in anything. In the past, we've had them in. Yeah. Of yeah, they still have the program if they work at a senior center, and that's what Brenda uses a lot of. So, um, my income, I know we've gone over it several times, that it's heads and beds. So, but this is going to increase in 2022 to 23. As Ann was just speaking, that house build number eight has really changed things, and it's going to change a lot for tourism too. One thing, Bo's going to help me out on this, because campgrounds are going to be taxed. That's going to put money into the tourism. If that 1% transient tax is going to be put on, and, it's, and it is a consumer tax, Bo won't pay it. It'll come from the tourist, the, the camper. Along with, we've had three Airbnbs open up. They're starting to put revenue into it. And I know of two more that are thinking about opening. And like Barb's Cake, Barb, Barb is good for like $100 a month. She does a fantastic business there because that's only a 1% tax. Um, so this is going to change. It's going to help. And the other thing that House Bill 8 did, the collection of those taxes will no longer be my responsibility because I do have times that I have to go after them and get them to pay. But um, that's also going to come from the state. The entire state of Kentucky, all their Airbnbs are going to go through a process and the state's going to collect that. So it'll, it'll be sent in along with their 3%. So that revenue is going to come in. The museum, and the reason I say this is I can't be at two places at once. For instance, tomorrow, the good news is uh, Owensboro Chamber is coming and they're filming uh, all of Rosine and doing a splash on Rosine because the museum over there and I are working on a package that starts you in Rosine, takes you to Owensboro, and you do the whole package. And I have been invited to speak on June 2nd at their meeting and go to a seminar with them when they are proclaiming them the capital, which I don't care, we're the home, we're the home. <laughs> and um, they've, they've made a special request that I be there. I'm gonna be there so bad that I canceled my kidney surgery and I'm gonna be there. <laughs> so. But uh, I guess my point is that it's, it's really picking up. And um, I'm just really excited of the things that are happening. But like tomorrow and June 2nd, I can't be in two places at one, and that museum's got to stay open. Because you can see our visitors are really picking up. Obviously, 19 and 20 and 20 and 21 were COVID years. And uh, this year alone, and we, we're just now getting into the tourist season. And I've already had 744 visitors. So we're, we're doing fine, we're doing good. But I want to really keep Connie, and that is my request. If you can somehow find to make that uh, 11,942 be a reality, tourism is going to pick it up and pay her in June. She'll stop the program, but then with the next fiscal year, I need to get her paid. So this is for next fiscal year, not now? Yes, yeah. Um, my thoughts were if you had any discretionary monies or anything left like now, um, if you wanted to pay all of it or some of it now, some of it can roll over into next year too. Because I just need that amount of money to cover her from July of 2022 to June of 2023. Well, I'm on board for what you asked for, but there's five others here to mention. I, I thought you said it was for the, to the end of this budget. No, next budget. I'll cover her to the end of this budget because I've done good on my budget. I can cover her for this year, but then um, it'll be for next year. She'll start working for the museum in July. Well, she's working for it now, but I'll cover her this year, and she'll go on this money on July for that fiscal year. And the museum is ours. And we're very proud of it. The travel, the, the visitors are picked up all the time. Yeah, it is. You go and you see more and more. Uh, we had a lady from Jerusalem today. Yeah. I thought that was pretty awesome. 
Your back sheet does give you some data. This is not last year's data, it's the year before, and uh, it's 2020, and that's, of course, COVID data. I've just highlighted uh, Ohio County for you. But it's by millions. The total spending for tourism in Ohio County was $19.8 million. So, and that's a combination of what Paul's doing and what we're doing. I don't have an issue with, with doing this and paying my part. Uh, it will be in the uh, payroll, I guess, payroll year, or how do they do No, it? actually she will not be an accounting employee. She'll be working through me just as the WK does. We employ a person there. I have a separate account for the WK. She's paid out of that but I have to pay the employers FICA and MCARE, and she will be paid out of the um, tourism account for the museum. So let's say she leaves uh, six months from now. Mm -hmm. uh, will you return returning the money to the court, or will you keep that money? Or if you find a program that will pay her. Oh, if I, well, I can return it if you want it returned. Um, if she just leaves and I don't find a program, I'd like to put somebody else in there because I'll still have the same issue of needing somebody in that chair. That's now in the summers, good. I get a student that comes in on Mondays. The only day I'm alone in the summer is um, Tuesdays because she works Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I have volunteers, um, but they didn't, they're not coming forward like they were. I have three very faithful, Joan L. Johnson, Sharon Autry, and Gaynell Allen. And they're pretty well will help me when something comes up and I really need to be covered, but I don't want to burn them out. I have three fire departments and three parks in my district and I just don't have the money to pay somebody's salary with me. I have so much to take care of. I, I'm not on board. Yeah. I think, Sam, the way it would be done is the money um, would be transferred into her tourism account and then she would just request the reimbursement. So, you know, possibly you would do it for six months and then, you know, another six months starting in January. Yeah, that'd be all right. And I worked mm -hmm. with her on trying to get uh, the mm -hmm. program. A program. Mm -hmm. I've been a little bit preoccupied the last little bit. <laughs> now I'm going to have more, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on, on yeah. the things like that. Matter of fact, we have a uh, visit Thursday with the uh, executive director, Brad. Okay. Miranda okay. and I are going to spend some time with her, mm -hmm. and this is certainly going to be a subject. Thank you. So, but she's she's working through the program right now. She just right. Started. She will she will stop the program at the end of this month. Because she's got to move to a different thing. For right. Mm -hmm. And she right now they don't have anybody available, but they probably will. It took me a year to get her. I've been I had one two years ago. She worked for about eight months, and then it was a year before they got me Connie. And when she announced that she had to leave, I called the program and asked what all the possibilities were and did they have somebody else, and she does not. It's a senior program with Audubon, and uh, there's an um, income requirement for it. So that's why she can't stay with the program, because I was hoping she could stay with the program and we could just make up the difference of what she needed, but she can't do that. She has two surprise bills that surprised her. Okay. I will commit to the six months if, and put that in there if we can get everybody else and see what we can do. Okay. Uh, and then in six months we would try it again. All right. I don't believe we'll be fine. Jason's not here, but I'm almost positive he'll be on board. I did speak to Jason, I should say that, but he, yes, he was on board. Yeah, that's all I can be on board for six months. So yeah. Hey, uh, let's make it six months and, and we'll yeah, just. But I'll uh, be on board. Okay. Uh, do we need a motion or do you take our word for it? Motion, please. I know where you all live. Okay. <laughs> Somebody make a motion, please. I make a motion to uh, support this initiative for $995 for six months coverage. Uh, you're not in there? Yeah. For five of us. For five of us. 
uh, then we'll work through for six months coverage of this however you would like for me to work. So what are you planning on doing from now on? I mean, because it's not in the budget. Mm -hmm. Well, I you think just, it, you I, just think you're going to have enough money. Yeah, you know. Well, the question um, is what zero below was that yeah, you but, would, but it's still possible. Yeah. 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 I mean, I know we'll be committed to the six thousand because, like I said, this year we were five thousand over budget, At the and I created scenario, it very small. Worst case scenario, we've got six months to figure it out and try to find it something, and and I will help with try to do that. Okay. So I made the motion. No second. Yeah. Motion to Sam Small, second by Larry Camp. Uh, have any more further discussion and that was for the for the uh, five of us so um folks say aye very say aye. aye okay yeah all right hold like like sign motion carries okay thank you thank you jody uh just since that's for a short uh, short closed session so motion blur count we're going to second hold second Okay. Got to take it, Sam. Uh, this is going to be a short post session. We're going in on the areas 61, 810, chapter 1, and I believe chapter 1 is litigation. Second. Second by Larry. Uh, aye. We're back in the open session. I will say during post session, we did not take any action. Uh, and uh, are not going to tonight, but uh, we're uh, we did talk about a uh, fear of some possible location, and that's what it's about. Um, I have one personnel item tonight, and it's at the park, uh, at the golf course actually. Uh, Sarah Jackson, it's uh, seasonal uh, at 10 23 an hour, level one. Effective 522. Roker. Johnston? Yes. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Judge? Motion. Did you have the two for the road department? I did not. Okay. She, she oh, gave, they're callbacks. Uh, we well, no, they're going from grade one to grade two. Oh, okay. Okay, I thought it was a callback. That's a long way. I didn't have them. Sure. Okay. Okay. Now, do we need motion when we're, when we're just going from within our scale? Grade one to grade two? The only thing we get kind of talked about down that judge is kind of running it to the weight scale right here. That's what I thought. But we can take a glance at it. What's that? PCSA? Yeah. No. I'm just cutting This is all done. So Everybody what, paid what have they done to get moved up? I mean, being there is one thing, and that's what the the comments are. Is it's supposed to be in the been here a long time. I think that's ten years. All that is. Well, what I'm saying, since it's in this scale and progresses the way they are, we decided that we didn't take them to a vote of the court. We still prefer a view of the, of the committee. Okay. All right. Move on. Uh, are there any committee reports? If they're not, I've got a comment to make before we call on you guys. Today, we had our exit with the uh, auditors today. We came out good. Had a few little comments, but there were things we couldn't do anything about. Uh, and uh, the auditor said 
there were few or no other counties that was prepared for an all that had everything together as the way that uh, that we did and uh, and I said thank you yeah. You know who did it? Is that all? <laughs> anyway. Is that all attributed to him? Yeah. I, well, I, I just went ahead and took it since he thanked me. But yeah, <laughs> no, it, it was him, and uh, we all know it. So I just want to thank her in front of you, you guys, for doing such a great job in, in the last year of uh, keeping our records and finances straight, and where they were not questioned by the uh, auditors at all. I've always felt comfortable in him and what she does. So. See, I'm being nice again. You are. Yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> and since some treasurers put down <laughs> estimates on their expenses on their audit report, they didn't have exact amounts. Uh, but anyway, uh, same. I have nothing to do. John? Yes, yeah, two things real quick. Um, one is the Rockport uh, dock at the river. Mm -hmm. um, I know. We had some people take a look at the dock and he had to get with his partner on the walkway for the dock. Uh, that's been held up a yeah. substantial amount of time. Uh, we've yeah. actually gone through some uh, one place closing through the COVID that we were looking at buying docks there, but this other place is open. Actually in the county, uh, <clears throat> bought the other one out. But um, I was just wondering if we'd gotten a uh, report back because I know we were looking at they originally told us June yes. for the dock. We it, would look at right. starting. We're, Actually, about one, at one time, I think they said finishing in June. Right. Yeah, well, we're so. still looking at that, and uh, they were supposed to have got us some rock solid numbers by today so I could give it to court tonight, but it didn't happen. Okay. So I have Charlie jump back on again because okay. I was expecting that today. I know everybody's anxious to get that in down there oh, for, of course uh, we are, yeah. for uh, tourism and then. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, recreation. Yeah, you remember you spoke to tie your boat up to it. I'm gonna come down and get in, it and you're gonna take me for a ride. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And then uh, the other, I just want to congratulate Mr. Titchener on his race in the primary. Uh, he ran a really good race, and it was nice and clean. I appreciate that. Uh, I thought we had a, a good, good race there. I, we we always like to see more people come out. Um, I think we we're both shocked. That, you know, no more turned out to the polls and what did. But I wish him luck in the fall and the, and the other gentlemen. So it's a little little bittersweet, but uh, I'm looking forward to after January, kind of being on the other side of the of the county affairs. So I'll get to be maybe the ones with questions, not the ones with things. Uh, I plan to come up with answers. I plan to change my phone number. <laughs> so anyway, just I appreciate everybody's. I appreciate you. You had to. You you you're good. We, you got you got the rest of this year to go, and, right. and we're going right. to get a lot done. But uh, we we've always enjoyed. Uh, we've really had a good relationship these last two and a half years or three years, and uh, it's you, really meant a lot to you me. You include me, Judge? Or? I am. Okay. <laughs> hey, I, 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 the thing is, well, we've all been together for eight years. I said it's three. We've had a good. We've really done good. So anyway. Yeah, it'll be, be a big change. Yeah. Larry's stepping off after how many years? Uh, 45. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been several moons. 30, 33? 33 years. 33 years. You'll see you got one five year term. Okay, Larry. Uh, just I want to tip my hat to Joe for having some certain amount of class and he's lost to uh, Mr. Hitchner. Uh, Joe, I have a lot of respect for that. Uh, second of all, I, I, uh, I need to, if we could, uh, Charlie, I haven't touched base with or anything, but if we can set up another jail meeting and maybe uh, have Charlie see if he can set it up here, David, at the courthouse, or, or even have an open meeting to the public or whatever, if we could get this gentleman uh, that runs a, that's been involved uh, in a Tri-County Jail, that runs a Tri-County Jail, we can give us a lot of information. and. Uh, the last time we as a court talked about the jail was that uh, seemed to be, everybody seemed to be interested and had a lot of questions. And so I thought maybe we might just schedule it as a we'll do it. public meeting or or a special call meeting, or whatever you want to do. We'll do it. And, and there's one right away that Charlie waiting to hear back from the other counties on to to get the, the board to set you guys the board together. 
And then we'll, we'll invite them here to do a public hearing. Okay, yeah, I'd like to have it here instead of maybe Butler County. Yeah. It'd be exciting to get it to, to uh, get this thing rolling. It's a goal of mine to get this thing completed and operational within the next four years. Larry, no, it's all right. Justin. I just say congratulations to all the graduates. I think there's the graduate ceremony tonight, so I yeah. congratulate all those that have done it, including my sixth grader, Briley, if you call them sixth grade graduation, graduation. Uh, congratulations to her. And that's why uh, Jason Bullock's not here tonight. His daughter, Addie, graduated. Don't seem possible. When I come to op in the office, she was, uh, you know, pretty small. Yeah, I agree. I remember that. So 12 years makes a big difference. Well, Joe's job is just uh, small whenever he came on the door. Yeah, when I looked at the, uh, the picture of when I first ran, I said, well, I'll need to update that picture because she's a freshman in high school now. Yeah, so kind of waits for no one. No, it doesn't go by fast. Does anybody else have anything for good body? If not, we'll see you guys in about, two, about hey, three weeks this time because there's five uh, teeth. So see you then. All right. Have a good evening.